Hi, right, so in the last video, uh, I went over missions 1 through 5. I actually also did missions 6 and 7, but I did not upload those because they took me a long time and honestly, I wasn't really understanding them so too well. And I finally know why. <laughs> so let's go into mission 2. So this will help, this will just help me explain how, how, uh, what went wrong. Okay, so here we have our, uh, our mission. It's already completed. Now, uh, let me just run it so we can show you. This code is going to make the, the robot turn left. Um, and after it turns left, it's going to go forward. Now, this gyro sensor is what makes it stop. Okay, notice that on a regular left turn, here, here's the left turn code, uh, the duration is what makes it stop. Okay, so it's going to turn for two seconds, right? So, get rid of that. Now, uh, when you're using the gyro sensor, uh, the gyro sensor can sort of read, okay, you've turned 90 degrees, uh, now it's time to uh, go ahead and stop turning and keep going uh, forward to the next block. So I'm going to run it. See? That's just fine. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop it and uh, just try to explain a little bit more about the gyro sensor. Um, so let's say I didn't want to get to that goal yet, but down here. Duplicate that and let's say uh, drive forward for 3,500 milliseconds, so three and a half seconds. So let's say I wanted to turn and then drive forward uh, after three and a half seconds. And then it would stop, right? So that code is doing exactly that. Now I'm going to pretend that this road is not here. So we start off facing this way and then we turn left, okay? Let's say we want to turn left and go this way, right? So at the end of the three and a half seconds, I should be able to just copy all this code and it should turn left after three and a half seconds, right? Actually, let me just change the trail color. After the three and a half seconds, we're going to have a different trail color. We're going to change to green and we're going to copy the exact same blocks um, so we can turn twice, right? That's basically what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to turn twice. So let me go ahead and run that. There's a yellow trail and there's a green trail. Okay. Notice what happened. It did not stop and turn again, right? So that really confused me. <laughs> I did not know, like, why isn't it stopping and turning? Why, why, why? Uh, so I did mission six and seven. It took me forever because uh, I thought <laughs> there was something wrong with the gyro sensor. Uh, turns out the gyro sensor is just fine. Um, the problem was that uh, this gyro sensor senses that uh, it turns to 90 degrees, right? So over here, it starts off at, let's say there's a counter for counting degrees. It starts off with zero, and then it gets to 90, and that's where it turns, right? And then it goes forward. So this code is basically saying, okay, count to 90, and then turn, and then count to 90 again, and then turn. The problem is that um, it's when it gets down here, it's already counted 90. So remember how I said it starts at zero, and then it counts to 90? So by the time we get down here, it starts at 90 already. See, it doesn't start at zero, it starts at 90. Okay, that was my big mistake that I didn't know about. Uh, there's a gyro reset uh, block, and it's right here under sensors, okay? So using this gyro reset, now uh, we can put this gyro reset uh, right before we change the trail color. Okay, so now after adding that gyro reset, it's going to uh, go ahead and uh, turn at this point. You see how the trail, it's kind of hard to see, but it's yellow and then it turns green. So uh, because we didn't have that gyro reset, um, it just kept going forward. It's like, oh, well, I already counted 90, so I'll just keep going, right? But after this reset, it's going to reset the degree counter in the gyro sensor to zero, so then it can turn again. Let's watch. See? That would have been extremely helpful to know uh, when I was working on mission six because it has so many turns. Okay, so uh, that gyro reset is very important. When you're doing multiple turns using gyros, uh, the gyro sensor, you need to have a gyro reset after each turn, okay? So having said that, let me go ahead and go back uh, to the learning center so we can jump over to mission six. And uh, that'll, be, that'll be it for this video. This one takes a while. Okay, now uh, I'm not, I don't have <laughs> the gyro turns memorized just yet but that's okay. Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit um, and we're going to get through this one. Um, and I'll show you all the code that I, that I had uh, to get through uh, this mission without knowing about that gyro reset. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right. So first, uh, I'll need to move forward until I hit that block. So I'm going to drive forward and use the um, until pressed, the touch sensor. And then after that, I'll need to turn left. So let me grab uh, this one right here and let me open up my Huh, my gyro turn is missing. Great. 
Let's see if I can do this from memory. Um, I'll need to move forward, and then I'll need a, um, I'll need this one. And I believe I also needed steering here. So to do a left turn, uh, let's see. I believe I needed a, uh, let's see. Make sure it's not here. <laughs> if this doesn't work, I need to go back. So I'll need to put uh, less than here and a negative 90, I believe. Or maybe, no, it was positive 90 for a left turn and a negative number right here, I think. Oops. Negative, negative 100, and this should, be, should just be 15. Um, and then forward. Let's see if that works. I might need to change this to a uh, greater than or this to a negative 90. But this is just trying to use the gyro to turn left. So it's forward into touch, and it didn't turn left at all. Great. So let me change this to uh, greater than or equal to positive 90, and I'll try it again. Okay. Great. Okay, so at that point, I'll need another uh, until touch. I'll put that here. And I'm going to try turning left again. Now keep in mind that I've already turned uh, once. So at this point, I'll go ahead and use that um, gyro reset. Okay, so uh, I'll go ahead and run that again. Okay, great. Okay, so now that we have that much, um, I can go ahead and start using a uh, repeat block. Okay, because um, after my initial left turn, I need to do another left turn. So basically, I'm going to grab this, move it aside, put the repeat block here, and put all of this inside the repeat block. And I'm going to change this to two times. That way uh, it knows to drive forward and turn left uh, and do that two times because we need two left turns at the beginning. One at this point, left turn, and then one at this point, left turn. So let's go ahead and run that. Okay, so uh, after that, I'll need, uh, I'll need to turn right. So let me go ahead and uh, copy this one. Put it down here. Copy this one. Put it down here. And uh, copy this one. Put it down here. Okay, so to do the right turn, I'll need to change this uh, to positive 100. I'll need to change this uh, to less than or equal to, and I'm going to put negative 90 right here. And uh, that should uh, that should be... Uh, okay, after that one, we need to copy this one. And of course, the gyro reset. Okay, so that should get me uh, to turn right after that. First left turn, second left turn, we get there, we turn right, go forward, and great, great, great. So far, so good. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab another repeat block. And guess what we're going to do? Yes, we're going to put this here, grab these, and put them in here. And how many right turns are we going to need? We're going to need to turn right here. And then, oof, wait, hold on. No, this was the first right turn, and then here we'll need the second right turn. So I'm going to change this to a two, so that we can repeat that right turn movement twice. Great, 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 great. So after this point, uh, really, we're just going to copy the, the repeat blocks. Uh, from here, I'll need to turn left and then left again. So I'm going to copy all of this and plug it in down here. Okay, so after I turn left here and turn left at that point, I will need to, I will end up here and I'll need to turn right one time and then another time. So let me go ahead and uh, copy the uh, second set of repeat, which is the right turns. Let me copy that. Put that down here. Okay, so after we turn right once, we turn right again. That's this one that we just set up here. I'll end up uh, facing this wall, and I'll need to turn left. And then I'll end up here, and I'll need to turn left again. So let me copy uh, the left turns again. That's the first set. that all the way to the bottom. I know there's a cleaner way to do this, uh, but this is the way I'm doing it for now. Um, and then after that, looks like, uh, let's see, left, and then I'll need to turn uh, right, and then right again. So let me copy the second set, because the second set is the right turns. Drag this all the way to the bottom. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, run that.
Okay, so after that, um, this uh, basically keeps going and um, I'll need to add a touch sensor here at the very end. That way it knows to stop. And then after that, I'll need to turn left. So let me go ahead and uh, copy the left turn blocks. Copy this one. Copy this one. And copy this one. And I believe that will do it. If not, I'll just add whatever else I need at the end to finish the mission. Okay, so let me run that. do this mission. Uh, way better than the last time I tried it. Not enough space to turn properly or something. Nope, nope, nope. Something is off here. Um, yeah, I know there's a cleaner way to do it, um, but uh, I feel like I've worked on this level enough, so uh, I'll just go ahead and take this win, uh, and uh, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, I really appreciate all your comments, um, all uh, the few people who watch these videos. Um, I appreciate the views. I appreciate you subscribing. Um, if you know anybody that can, you know, get a use out of these videos, uh, please share them. Uh, I really want to see uh, my, my channel grow. Um, so I would really appreciate it if, if you showed these, uh, you know, to, to some of your friends or, you know, any, anyone who might also be using CoderZ um, or needs help with it. Um, I'm not an expert, but, you know, I'm trying. And, uh, uh, yeah, uh, there's not really much else to say. I need to go outside and mow the lawn, so that'll be it for now. Um, have a good day.